G'day Mr. Fitz here, hope you're going well. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to get high quality images out of Inventor. So you finish modeling your part, it looks pretty plain and boring. We want to get something really nice and attractive. So this is great for product design. Um, it enables you to get a high quality image that you can show to your customer. So before we go too far, what I want you to have a look at is the top of the Inventor screen here where my mouse is. You can choose a material of your product. So there's a whole list of default materials. You might go something like gold or whatever the product's made from. So choosing this will choose the material. Straight away you notice that this toolbar here is the color of the material. So if you click on this particular tab, this is the color that is associated with the material. Now you can actually, rather than choosing a material, you can just choose a color. So this overrides the material. So you might change this to pink and all of a sudden it's changed your product. Pink's a cool color, let's go with that. Um, another thing too, you notice this changes all of the color of the product. If you wanna change just a face, you can click on a face. To choose multiple faces, press and hold the control key on your keyboard and you can choose multiple faces and then go and change the color. So I might make these faces, let's go sky blue. So some sky blue and some pink, great, cool product. The next thing we wanna to do to jazz this up a little is to look at how we can change the visual style and some other settings under the view tab. So under visual style, at the moment it is smooth shaded model. Have a play with some of these ones. There's some pretty cool effects you can get on here. You can do some things like watercolor appearance, sketch illustration. Um, one I like to use is shaded with edges. It just highlights the edges of the product so you can see all those nice curves. The next thing we can play with are the shadows. So this can have a great effect on looking at your object in an area. So you might apply object shadows and ambient shadows. All of a sudden you get a bit more depth to your product. Also have ground shadows too. So depending on how you rotate it on where the ground is, you may see some shadows cast onto the ground. Looks like the ground is there. You can also put on re reflections. So reflections will show up on the ground of the product. So where it's sitting is a nice reflection. That can look pretty cool. Over here, you can adjust the projection of the product. So orthographic is nice and square. If you hit perspective, you can see it kind of warps the product a little. So it looks like you're looking at it through a camera. So there's a nice perspective. Down here, you can actually change the background and the environment. So there's some cool settings in here. Have a play with it. You might want to put it inside an old warehouse. Depending on the size of your product, if you zoom out, you can see that I'm now inside a warehouse. But it depends on the size of your product. If you've got a really small product, it may not look that great, but still that's a pretty cool effect. Nice reflective ground. Um, you might just want to change some of the, these settings here. Cool light, that looks pretty cool. Nice shadow reflected there. Um, what else have we got? Ground plane. You can put in a plane there that shows where the ground is. Um, doesn't look great to me, so I'll just turn that one off. You can turn on textures. And that gives you a fairly good looking image from where we began. Cool. All right, so one other thing I like to do sometimes, and it's an option, rather than using a one of these backgrounds, you might actually look to change the background color of the product. So I like just using a white sometimes. So if you're interested in that, um, I'll actually show you on another video to do that. Let's just stick to this area here. Cool, product looks good, like the background. Let's take an image of this. So some people might be familiar with the old print screen. What I like to use is our old friend inside Windows called Snipping Tool. So go to the Start menu. If you type in S and N, you will come up with the Snipping Tool. 
which is a desktop application. When this loads, it gives you this little bar here and it says you can create a new SNP. So let's click on new. What this does is allow me to now draw a window around what I want to SNP. So if I click a corner and drag, I can select my image here. So that's the rectangle around it. Now, a few options in here, you can save this as an image. Um, I like to just copy this. Click on copy, saves it to your computer's clipboard. And then if you say, open up a Word document, this could be an assignment, it could be just a document with images. You can now go paste and it will paste your image straight into the document. So from where we began, a much nicer looking image than just your plain poorly shaded product. Great, that's it for today from me. As I said, there are some other options you can go in, um, which changes the, the whole background. Um, but today, let's just have a look at how you can play with some of these here. You might just change your lighting, change your background, change your environment, and then take a nice snip of that. Great. All the best with your design work.